Can I see your ID, my friend? Yep, just like this. Uh, stick around for this uh, segment as I'm going to talk about the life of Esther, or should I say the identity of Esther, and we're going to learn a valuable life principle from her. You know, uh, the Bible is full of powerful stories and passages about various individuals. And some stories are very detailed and some are very short. And one of them uh, that I wanted to address today is about the life of Esther, uh, who practically was a nobody and then became a queen. And uh, today I wanted to kind of focus on this concept of the identity of Esther, to talk a little bit about her and to point out this, I guess, a thought to challenge you is, do you know your season or knowing our seasons? Uh, obviously, uh, we have four basic seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Depending where you live geographically, uh, you may only experience all four, three, two, or maybe just you're in the middle of the desert and it's always hot. I don't know where you live. But uh, it's very important for us uh, to know our seasons. I personally believe in my whole heart that our Heavenly Father in His divine wisdom has already placed all of us. If you're watching this video right now, that means you have breath in your nostrils, that he has already uh, specifically predestined us to be alive in a specific time, in specific seasons, in a specific geographical location, with a spe in a specific culture, ethnic background, nationality, skin color. I mean, our Heavenly Father is just so divine and perfect in his uh, plans and in his creation that it is, it's just phenomenal, uh, that a lot of times were left speechless. So when we look at the life of Esther, she was born in a very unique time where uh, her people, the Jews, obviously they were in captivity. Uh, but the interesting thought uh, point is that when Mordecai uh, helped Esther to join the beauty pageant, the first beauty pageant back in the day, and she became uh, queen, uh, that uh, he was actually, uh, Mordecai became her coach, her mentor, continually guiding her. And when uh, a decree went out that uh, the Jews are going to be destroyed, uh, that uh, Mordecai ended up reaching out to Esther and say, hey, look, you have to help us out. Uh, that a new law, a new decree went out there that uh, all Jewish people or anyone who have a Jewish background, they're going to be killed. They're going to be destroyed. And obviously Esther uh, became fearful because she did not know uh, what role she could play in this, how she would, she would be able to save her own people. But then we read this powerful passage, the words of Mordecai that he uh, spoke to Esther and it goes like this, yet who knows whether you have been come to the kingdom for such a time as this. And I think that's the challenge for all of us that when we know our identity in Christ and our identity through Christ, what does that mean? My first of all, my identity in Christ is I know who I am. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm washed by the blood. I'm saved. And when I die, I'm going to heaven. That That's, you know, going this way, my identity in Christ. But my identity through Christ, which tends to become like a cross is it's my purpose, my calling, my gifts, my potential. It's what my heavenly father has equipped me with that I can do upon this earth. So here Mordecai was challenging uh, Esther by saying, hey, look, you were born for such a time as this. You already have a, such a high position. You already have influence within the kingdom realm. So you need to go to the king and you need to petition on our behalf that a decree, he released a decree uh, because he was influenced uh, by the wrongful man uh, and they're all going to be wiped out. They're all going to be killed. And obviously she became full of fear and she did not know what to do. And obviously she ended up praying and fasting uh, together with her servants. And then she ended up standing, going before the king. And the, obviously, as we know in the story, the king extended his scepter and he received her. She served him. Uh, and then on one of the, during the one of the meals, she said, hey, look, you know, King, uh, you made a decree uh, and through this decree that uh, it's going to actually destroy us. And so God ended up using Esther, as the scripture says, for you were born as a, and during a time, as a, you were born for such a time as this. And we know that even to this day, uh, the Jewish people celebrate the celebration of Purim, uh, reminding themselves that because of the boldness of Esther um, thousands of years ago, they're still alive as a nation. So I guess the challenge to you, my friend, and to me is this, that if you're alive right now and watching this video, that means you were born for such a time as this. It does not matter where you are geographically. It does not matter what country you're part of, what skin color you have. It does not matter where your ethnic background is, where your language may be. If you're a child of God, you do have a purpose in this life. And we need to know our seasons. Just as much as we know uh, winter season's coming up, we're going to change our clothes. Just as much as the farmers know that the spring season is coming, that means they're going to start getting ready, cultivating the, the soil and getting 
getting prep, getting ready uh, to actually start sowing uh, seeds. So when the fall season will come around, they're going to actually start reaping the harvest. And I think this is very important for us. I mean, right now, when we look around in our culture, in our society, on the news media, on their social media, I mean, there's just so much doom and gloom, so much perversion, so much destruction, so much confusion. When I was growing up, uh, I grew up in the state of Massachusetts and they released uh, this idea, well, we're going to, uh, you know, create civil unions, you know what I mean? So those people who want to come into a civil union, uh, you know, l l let them do so. That was, you know, hidden, aka uh, gay marriage. Now, right now, we know it's the law of the land. And right now, just the nonsense with genderism, identity crisis, gender crisis, I mean, it's just a perversion trying to brainwash our, our little children through drag queens. I mean, there's just so much nonsense and confusion that is actually taking place right now in the world and our society. And I believe that the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, he, he's saying the same exact words that Mordecai said to Esther, you, my friend, you, my brother and sister in Christ, you were born for such a time as this. And we need to know our seasons. And what we learn from the identity of Esther, as I like to call it, is that Esther is challenging all of us right now, that we need to have our spiritual eyes open. We need to have our spiritual ears open. And we need to understand that uh, I do have a purpose in this life, that Jesus, he wants to use me. It doesn't matter what age you are. You could be a student right now in middle school, high school, or in college, uh, single, not married. It makes no difference where, what season you might be right now in your personal life. Uh, our Heavenly Father, he wants to use you. That's why I have this challenge you. Can I see your ID? Do you know your identity? Do you know your purpose? Do you know your calling? Do you know the seasons that you're living in right now? Do you know, my friend, that you were born for such a time as this? So as I conclude and as I wrap up this segment, uh, may this short uh, teaching and a challenge for you from the life of Esther challenge all of us. I know God will send will send and does send a type of Mordecai into our life who can coach us, who can mentor, mentor us, who can challenge us to actually live out our purpose, to live out our calling. Jesus, there was a reason why Jesus was born in a specific Roman era, in Roman time, because of things that were happening in that culture made things, uh, put them in a, such order and structure where even the crucifixions were practiced in the Roman era. Prior to that, hundreds of years ago, uh, you know, crucifixions were not even in existence. So even Jesus or God in his divine wisdom uh, already has chosen a specific time frame for Jesus to come into the world. And he only served for three and a half years and then he eventually was crucified and he fulfilled his kingdom assignment upon this earth. So my friend, uh, whatever you may be right now, wherever you may be watching, in whatever country, ethnic background, or uh, even theological religious beliefs, I want to challenge you. You were born for such a time as this. And our Heavenly Father, He wants to use you. You do have a purpose. You do have a calling. You do have potential. Uh, we should not make excuses. And I know at that moment, Esther was full of fear. Like, ah, are you kidding me? If I come to the king uninvited, I'm going to get killed. You know, she was full of fear. But she did the rightful thing. She started praying and fasting. And during that, uh, the Holy Spirit and God gave her... Um, the boldness gave her the courage to say, you know what, Esther, you got this girl. Go ahead. And eventually, as we say, the rest is history because now she's part of the history in the Word of God that you and I get to read about and we get to learn from her. So, my friend, if this uh, video segment was a blessing to you, uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the like button. I would like to hear your comments and stick around for more. And until next time.